Hi there, I'm going to show you how to create a new airforce.net library project online and offline. Okay, so first let's get started with the online uh, tutorial. So first uh, you need to create a new uh, Visual Studio project. So I'm using Visual Studio Ultimate 2030 version. Put new project. So I'm going to first create a, a new inform application. So I will name it as this. Hit OK. Okay. Now first you need to include all the libraries or the DLL files for the project. So first uh, as an online tutorial so you can use NuGet package manager to include all the dependencies and all the DLL files which are required for the project. So first you can right click on the reference and manage NuGet packages. Then you can search for a forge. That is forge. Okay, probably I yeah. This one. Okay, so as you're doing with image processing, so you need to include this one. So once you install this one, so it will in install all the dependencies and all the other required packages for this one. So I'll install a forge dot imaging package. So, yeah, so it installed all three packages, including all the dependencies and the, all the other required packages. Okay. So, as you can see here, so we have three packages installed on this project. Okay, now let's create a button there and let's test out our project whether it's, it can create, uh, it can call to the Forge library function. So I will create a click button for this one and let me pick some code for this one. Uh, okay, I need the documentation. Okay, so I need pick some sample codes for this one so as you can see here it has rich uh, documentation for this library so I have this sample code so I'm too lazy and let me copy this code to my project okay now let's see whether we can resolve this yeah we have so first you need to include the library as you can see here yeah okay so then we need to uh, we need to read an image which is bitmap okay let's create a bitmap image first so we need bitmap type let's call it image and I need to load it from file so then we need to have the file name. Okay, so let's use some sample images on Windows. Uh, let's pick this one. So I need the path. Okay, so that's the other. Yeah, we need to convert it back to bitmap. Okay, let's cast this one. Okay, then we can apply the thing for image. Okay, let's 
dexterity. Let's see what they. Okay. Now let's run this one and see whether we can get a grayscale image of this image to our bin folder. Okay. I click on the button. So let me go to the output folder. Bin debug. Okay. We have output. And uh, yeah, this is the grayscale image. So this is our source image and this is our output image. Thanks for watching.